Today we're going to set up the 11,000 BT tap timer. And so step number one is we're going to remove the battery box. There's a little grease and a little O-ring, so set it up on its end, just like that. And then we're going to fish the wire out of there a little bit. Snap positive and negative connection down on there. Slide everything back in and make sure you got your flat side toward the display. Slide it all the way back in to where that O-ring seals up really nice. Now we have 12 p.m. flashing on the screen and so we have the minus button, the plus button, the enter button, and the move to the next thing or, or the right arrow button and then the manual operation button. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to push the right button, which gets the 12 to flashing, and then we're going to, we're in the afternoon, we're going to back up to 3.45. So we have 3 p.m. Press the right button, that gets us to minutes. And then we're going to back up again to go to 3.45. There we go. And then we press our right button again. The little raindrop in the top left-hand corner of the screen starts flashing saying, hey, I think it's Sunday. We're going to press plus, plus. That'll get us over to Tuesday. So we're good. And then we're going to press the enter button that saves all of those settings. So you can see nothing's flashing there. Then when we press the enter button again, we're on the duration and we're going to press the right button to start the edit. We don't need hours, we need minutes. And we're going to set this duration of the sprinkler operation to 20 minutes. So we're just going to hit the plus sign until we get to 20 and then we're good to go there. And we're actually going to just press enter and on this it moves us down to the days and what days we want to operate. So you can see the little calendar page. Now it is currently off, so it's not going to turn on on any days. But if we turn or we press the right button, then it starts flashing on Sunday. For this example, we're going to set the operation for 20 minutes, two times a day, Monday and Thursday. So we're on Sunday. We want to go to Monday. That's good. We've got our drop under Monday, then we're going to hit our plus in order to create a next set. And then we're going to right arrow over to Thursday. And then in order to save that, say yes, this is the one we select, we're going to hit a plus again. It brings up another raindrop, but that's okay. It never saves the flashing raindrop in these particular settings. So we're going to hit our enter button. And then that's going to jump us down to the start times. Now there's four available start times to run for the 20 minutes on the Monday and Thursday that we just set. So we're going to go to the right. And for this one, we want to set it at 6 a.m. because we always want to irrigate in the cool of the day and keep our evaporation down. That way we're not spending money on water that's evaporating. And then we can go right. If we had minutes, we'd put them there. We don't in this example. So we're just going to go enter. And then the Roman numeral 2 comes up on the bottom. It's currently off. And so in flashing, so it knows it's ready to be set. What we're going to do is back up. So minus sign until we get to 6 p.m. And then we're going to go to the next, to the minutes. And then we're going to plus sign until we get to 6.30. And so now we're set at 6.30 p.m. So we're set 6 a.m. on number one, 6.30 p.m. on number two. Oops, sorry. Enter button. We're not doing anything with start time number three. Enter button again. We're not doing anything with start time number four, Roman numeral four here. So we're going to hit the enter button one more time. Now, just to check our settings, we're, the time is right, the day is right. We're good to go there. Our duration, 20 minutes, is what we talked about. We're good to go there. 
the days we want to irrigate on are Monday and Thursday. That makes it ready to go. And finally, we have a start time for the first start on a Monday morning at 6 a.m. And then the second start is on Monday evening, 6.30 p.m. And then it will repeat that process on Thursday. Then we have nothing on three, nothing on four. We're back to the home screen. Now from here, the home screen will blank out after a couple of minutes of not pushing any buttons or anything like that. So what we'll do is we'll just rotate it down, lock it away so that our screen's not exposed to all the uh, sunshine and everything like that or direct rainfall. So we'll screw this right here into the hose tap and screw our hose in right here on the bottom. If we would like to test our valve and make sure that it's going to operate, we can actually hit the manual button. You can hear it click. You see the manual run and the manual run time is going to still run to 20 minutes. Otherwise, you can shut it off yourself by hitting the manual button again, and you can hear it click, and then all the settings go right back to the way that you had it. And then we just rotate it down, get it out of the sunshine. Now we're ready to go install on our hose. Thanks for watching.